Hey guys. One of the things I was looking for was some way to keep my gear organized uh, that wasn't quite the size of a backpack, a little bit bigger than my normal EDC without overfilling my pockets. Um, really what I needed was a man purse, and that's kind of what I'm calling this. Uh, this is the Gear Slinger Remora uh, by Maxpedition, of course. And uh, basically just kind of going over it, uh, I've been pulling out some of the stuff that I've been carrying in it. It's really sort of a cross between what my EDC was before and the things I was carrying in my Kodiak. Uh, you're going to see some kind of some hybrid uh, features on here. Uh, the front has some uh, molly webbing. I've got a, uh, a little Blackhawk stick in there, molly stick. Um, front pouch is more of an envelope pouch. That's uh, the full depth there. Um, holds IDs, uh, wallets, money, flat things. Uh, pretty easily. I actually have my wallet in my pants today, uh, but when I was out on wildland fire, I kind of needed to have access to that kind of stuff fairly quickly. For the most part, this was something I carried when I was on an engine. Uh, an engine in wildland fire is basically the trucks with a little bit of water in them, uh, where I wasn't hiking around on hand crew, uh, Most mostly because I didn't have my line bag, which you'll see in a different video. Um, you know, you're carrying less equipment, all you really need is the essentials, your tool, your safety equipment, your fire shelter. Uh, now the, uh, the front pocket is set up for kind of quick access. Um, this is a little running guy you put on your wrist as you keep a spare key and some cash in there. Um, I've got some, uh, some blister care. You'll see in the back is a uh, pretty good sized sleeve. And most of this is all sort of my first aid uh, stuff that was in my EDC. There's some uh, compressed gauze, there's the water purification, there's the uh, CPR face shield, uh, some gloves, two MRE toilet papers, and a little wet nap uh, vacuum sealed in there. And then I have a little bug towelette. Uh, all that kind of fits in this back little sleeve here. Uh, the, the actual door here has two big elastic uh, pieces here. Got a little sunscreen in there. I actually have the uh, little County Com uh, battery, battery carrier. Um, this is just carries double A's for my, uh, my spark. Um, I do have the uh, Leatherman Squirt um, just because it has scissors on it, small pair of pliers. For the most part, when I was on engine crew, I switched over to my Skeletool as an EDC, so I kept my buck as a backup. Uh, down in the bottom of that, but pretty good size. Uh, it does have a little key keeper in there. Top little elastic pouch. The side is uh, Molly compatible here on both sides as well. Go into the main compartment. Main compartment. Pretty good size, uh, pretty deep. Again, I'll leave a link for my expedition with all the actual like specs and stuff. Uh, I've got camera batteries uh, in the bottom. Of course, I have a uh, backup flashlight. Um, in this front pouch, there is a little bit of hook and loop in here. So if you want to use some of their accessory hook and loop uh, or Velcro pouches, you can. Uh, I've got spare batteries from the truck. I've got a uh, little Altoids tin. That's basically right off my EDC pouch. I hear a car going by. Uh, spare battery. I've got some uh, some quarters in case I need to use a payphone. Some five-hour energy. Uh, so pretty good little pouch in there. Main pouch. You've got uh, grommet off the bottom, and then the rear pouch is secured with a, uh, a hook and loop little Velcro piece. It's a little bit flatter, a little bit more slimmer back pouch. Um, and actually, I've got the. Uh, the right in the rain, a uh, little handout that the uh, Amp3, Doc, and uh, Carl uh, give you because I met them in uh, Sisters the other day. Nice little grab handle on top with the uh, sort of the neoprene. Um, every four corners has a D-ring clip attachment for uh, the harness. There's a little bit more molly on the top. I would tell you that the the size of this it really does sort of fit like a purse um, it's a little bit smaller than I it feels comfortable so I carried it fairly low uh, that's why I've got it on the this top ring here to get it lower access nice hyperlon rubber uh, it's kind of a belt attachment on here very nice uh, grippy rubber backing 
There is a small D-ring and a snap that allows you to get to the concealed carry area. Full field of hook and loop. And uh, yeah, overall, pretty impressed. You can tuck this away underneath here. That snap will now incorporate into the snap near the molly. And you can take this off. Um, there's not as there's no like padding uh, section that you'll see on some of their other stuff, um, but that gets it out of the way and now it becomes a handbag basically, or through attachments you can attach any of the D-rings onto some Molly equipment. Uh, so it can be attached uh, to Molly even if you're not using the standard Molly field on the back. So like I mentioned, it really is sort of uh you know a man bag a uh, merce uh you know very similar and in fact it worked out very well fireland season uh, or wildland fire season is uh sort of coming to an end so i'll probably be transitioning back to the kodiak um i may keep this as sort of an edc around the rig uh you know i'll give you the size comparison here in a second uh, and, and converting them uh the kodiak into more of a get home bag uh, that will stay in the truck. This will be something that I bring from the truck into where I'm at and um, you know then I'll have my EDC on top of it. Um, for right now uh, I may be picking up a, another one. My uh, sister uh, saw this bag and uh, I'm not sure what it is. In doing some pre-research for the Remora there are a lot of women, tactical women, regular women, uh, who seem to really gravitate to this bag. Uh, for me, it didn't quite have the organization um, inside that, uh, as far as, you know, it just is kind of a big open hole, um, but I think that gravitates to uh, just how women normally have their purses. I'm not trying to make any assumptions, but uh, my sister really likes this bag and uh, wants it. So what I was thinking about doing is having her use it. Uh, and again, when you look up Remora, it tends to be a lot of uh, women gear reviewers on there that gravitate for the Remora out of all the other bags. Um, you know, it has the concealed carry element. It's not too big. It's a good size. And uh, so I'm going to be giving it to my sister and uh, having her, her through, put it through her paces, uh, you know, and then giving me feedback uh, for what she thinks and uh, it should be used and how it could be used. So. Um, that's what this bag's going to be gravitating towards, and then uh, hopefully I'll give you an update on it down the road. But it's a very cool size, uh, you know, even just as a grab bag like this, um, you know, it held everything you sort of needed for the day without being too big. And uh, I will zoom back and uh, give you a little shot of kind of the size comparison. Here's sort of a comparison to the uh, Triad Admin Pouch and the Remora. You can see it's kind of the next step up from you know your EDC gear that you carry to needing a little bit something more substantial without quite needing a backpack. And there it is next to the uh, the Kodiak. Give you a look at all three, kind of sequential. You know the Kodiak is pretty substantial size, um, and I've said that as much as my reviews. I really like the size of the Kodiak. Uh, if you like the form and function of that, there is the Sitka, which is the little brother of the Kodiak. And then there's the No Attack, I believe it is, which is even smaller. Uh, I believe the dimensions are closer to the Remora, uh, possibly a little bit bigger. I'll have to leave some links down below. But when I back up, you kind of see there's a nice progression of size. For the days when your EDC gets you covered, for the days when you need a little bit more of a grab back man purse, and then uh, when you need more of a full loadout, you know, more equipment um, and the ability to carry more, you've got the uh, the Kodiak. So there's a little bit of the color difference as well. Of course, this is the uh, khaki and foliage. This is just khaki, and uh, that is just khaki as well. So this concludes my review of the Maxpedition Remora. Uh, go ahead and look at the links down below, and I appreciate your comments. Take care.